Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to register and deregister your FTEZ ID with your FT app. So if you're watching this video, by now you probably have the FTEZ ID and also more importantly, this little bag with this little QR code here. If you haven't already, download the FT app. It's not just an app meant for the FTEZ ID, but it offers you so much more like all of our video channel content without Google Ads, our store experience, a pilot hanger, and your logbook. Many other really cool features are coming with this app and it's available on Apple and Android. Now that we have our app downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and scroll over to the little picture of the airplane on the bottom of your app. You're gonna see in the upper right corner, something that says Remote ID. Go ahead and press that purple button. Now we've opened up our Remote ID page. If you're a 107 pilot and you have to have one Remote ID per aircraft, you may have multiple Remote IDs listed in this page and that is absolutely fine. To add your FTEZ Remote ID, all you simply need to do is go to the lower right hand corner, hit the plus button, and at that point, we can name this ID whatever we want. A lot of you may wonder whether or not this is actually gonna be broadcasting that exact name. No, all that it's broadcasting is a sequential serial number, and that's the important part. The name that you're putting in this app is strictly for you to be able to use as a nickname to understand which remote ID you're working with at the time. Now that we've named it, we're gonna go down to the next level, and this is where we can manually input all of the serial number on the very bottom, but there's an easier way to do that. You're gonna see a little QR code reader all the way over to your right. We're gonna press that. It may ask you for permission to use your camera if you already haven't allowed it. Go ahead and allow it to use your camera. And at that point, all we need to do is hover over the QR code. Once we do that, it instantly loads it in, and all we have to do now is hit the save button. And our next step is to put it on our airplane, or we can also use advanced features like Find My Plane and additional features in the future like Pilot Logbook, and also a really cool gaming system that we're gonna do to recognize and reward you for flying and growing the hobby. At any point you wanna remove the remote ID, maybe you're selling the airplane that the remote ID is mounted to, or maybe you wanna give it to your son, daughter, or best friend. You can easily deregister the remote ID from you by simply selecting the remote ID, and going down in the middle of the column, you'll see a little trash can. Simply press that trash can. It'll ask you if you're sure that you want to delete it, and you simply hit yes. At that point, the remote ID is no longer registered to you, and you can pass it on to somebody else. Friends, at this point, we've now registered our remote ID. We are ready to go ahead and mount it onto an airplane, and that's in a different video, so we'll see you next time.